10th of June for the Ascendant Sun or the Moon. On the screen now is the event chart right at the start of the week. The most exciting piece of news for you is that Mars has moved into your sign for a six week occupation. Mars is about thrust and it's also going to give you a lot of, of extra uh, heft in order to manifest what you want as an individual. Also, it's going to give you some extra vitality, but it could see a bit more impatient. But most of all, it brings to the end a six week period where Mars may have affected your emotions in quite a powerful way. If you have felt a bit up and down, at times quite angry in an unexplained way or at other times quite sad, even tearful, it could be to do with Mars and unprocessed past hurts and angers. But Mars moving into your sign can certainly spark your determination, particularly to showcase your individuality. But if you are someone who's uh, wanting to uh, be more expressive, but you have to exist in a big organisation or a corporation or a government department where there is a set way of doing things, the clash with Pluto at the start of this week, but also the Moon. So there's a T-square to uh, the position of Mars does require some care. Haste at this point of Mars's journey through your sign is not going to be an asset to you. You've got six weeks, so there's lots of opportunities Mars is going to bring to you, but at this stage, if there is something that you're feeling really passionate about, you're gonna to need to be strategic and read the room when it comes to the politics, particularly if you work in that big organization. But also, Mars moving into your own sign and clashing with Pluto could see you more assertive at home. And it could be around your financial situation with such a gathering of energy in house two, the sign of Gemini. But just be conscious that the start of this week, Saturn is going to be clashing with the sun, but also your ruler Venus. You could have quite the disagreement with someone who up until now has been a friend. You may see that your view or of your values actually is not as aligned as you would hope. In a romantic situation, if you don't see a future in the tie, it could even come to a close as this week starts. But also, this is a week when we have a Mercury Kazemi. Mercury rules the sign of Gemini and merges with the sun in a glorious unison. The sun magnifies the energy of Mercury. If you do need to be agile about resources, that can help you. It's just that on Friday, the same day as the Kazemi, there's a quarter moon in your sister Earth sign of Virgo. And for you, that's the part of your situation that can be to do with enjoyment, uh, life's pleasures, but also speculation and chance, being a bit more in the moment when it comes to your resources. And you could decide that you want to splash out and spoil yourself and not worry too much about your future situation. But then Venus, Mercury and the Sun all get mangled by the drifting, dreamy, distorting energy of Neptune towards the end of this week. I really feel this is a week to be cautious with resources, even if you're seeing opportunities developing. Mercury and Venus forge a very fortunate conjunction towards the end of the week, but it's Neptune's influence that's the problem. Neptune can create uh, an optical illusion almost about opportunities. If there is something that really, really makes you feel excited, or it's a person that you're really excited about, I think it's important just to give yourself this week to appraise everything, not rush any moves, because I feel the information that you're absorbing or being told might not be totally reliable or even correct. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Taurus. Have a great week. If you've yet to subscribe to the channel, please do so now and help it grow. <music>